debated sharing this with you guys for a long time. It's like the one thing I discovered, I could write books about it, I could, I mean, I could make millions off of it, but I think instead I'll just give it to you for free. That's the kind of person I am. Just kidding. Yep, wrong way. All right. Good morning, my beautiful internet friends. Today I'm going to take you with me my, I'm, <clears throat> words. Great, great job, Joe. Today I'm gonna take you with me as I practice the single most effective anxiety management tactic I know of, but I promise you, you've never heard of this before. I've never heard anyone talk about it. It's a, a random, bizarre, weird thing to do, but it works. It's inexpensive, it helps you get other tasks done at the same time. It's like the best thing you could do with five bucks and three minutes of your day if you aren't feeling so great, if you're feeling nervous or anxious or whatever. So let's go get this done because uh, I have to go to work later today and uh, that's all well and good, but I get a little bit anxious about that. I get anxious about seeing clients without a leg, feeling incompetent. I'm not incompetent, so to wash away those feelings, let's go, uh, let's go take care of that anxiety together. Also, side note, don't fall over. Um, I graduated to the upstairs bathroom. Check it out, guys. I drew that a while ago. So this bathroom is technically our master bathroom, but for the past seven months after amputation, I've been using the one all the way downstairs, which is like in a dark hole. Super grateful for it. Like the shower worked out great for sitting down and all that, but now that I'm a little bit more competent and can actually get up and down the stairs okay, we decided to actually like move my shower chair up here and this bathroom has an actual window in it and doesn't make me feel like I'm in a dark cave and it just feels nicer. I'm excited about that. It makes me feel a little bit more put together. Enough of that, let's go share some secrets. Wipe some of the dog hair off so you don't see that. We're here, guys. So all you need to do to participate in this life-changing anxiety reduction technique is, uh, depending on where you are in the world, maybe five bucks and a car. I discovered this a couple years ago and it's uh, been life-changing to me. Maybe that's an overstatement, but it's honestly helped me a lot. The answer is car washes are fantastically relaxing to me. It's like two minutes where I feel perfectly safe and like no one's gonna hop in the car and like attack me. And I don't know, the world just fades away for like 90 seconds as the water runs down the windows and uh, I feel like I'm the only person in the world. If I need to cry, I can sob for like those 90 seconds. If I need to, you know, laugh or scream or whatever, no one's gonna, no one's gonna hear you. Not only that, but you're also getting your car cleaned at the same time. So it's a win-win for everybody. So come along with me as we take care of this anxiety for the next three minutes. Crying and trying to say There you have it. So that took about all of like three minutes to get through the car wash and then another like five to vacuum it out. And I don't know if you're like me, but when I get anxious, sometimes cleaning really helps. Like I'll get obsessive about cleaning around the house. I don't know, it just helps to clean up my car real quick. Go through that car wash, feel safe, feel secure, have a few minutes to just like, just be super secret. I mean, keep this video to yourself. Don't share it with anyone. Just kidding. Please share it with people. I would love that. But now I must actually get off to work. So uh, this is a bit of a short to the point video today, but I want to let you guys in on my big secret. It's a bit of an odd tactic that has served me well over the years. I hope that you guys are doing well wherever you are. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.